YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host TKK and we are back with another video guys. Today we are going to deep dive into some hardcore gaming discussions with the A95L. Now right now, I got you guys in a handheld vlog style orientation for me to record this because we're looking at and we're talking about my gaming PC. I've got this thing set up pretty much across the wall or the room from the A95L. I've still yet to get this TV set to where I'm gonna have it and forgive the TV and the overexposure right now with the camera, but I need the ISO to be set up pretty high for me to be able to talk about this. 25 foot HDMI cable, if you just kinda look around, you can see I've got an HDMI 2.1 running from my gaming PC, which does feature an RTX 3090 graphics card. This is a capable system and setup that we feature content talking about this specific case from Silverstone. I moved it in this place so that it can get optimal ventilation coming in, exhausting, etc. In any event, we're going to get this thing connected today to this TV. Now, Connecting a console to a TV is a much easier feat, right? You can do that because the consoles are made to work for the TVs. The space of gaming PC is still something that all TV manufacturers have yet to do. And while you have a ton of companies, well, not a ton, but you've got a couple of options that will you know, tell you they can do higher than 120 hertz. 120 hertz is going to be the sweet spot for PC gaming. Today, we are going to talk about getting PC gaming set up and how it functions on the Alpha 95 Legend right after this intro. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So I wanna set the tone for this video. Let me just first tell you that I respect all gamers. Personally, I do use a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox, so we're not, we're not on the brand bias this way. We do it all, right? Um, but what I want to tell you is that as a gamer, if you love and enjoy gaming, listen, the absolute best way to take advantage of gaming is PC gaming, okay? It's just a fact. Um, what I love is that we're in a space where we can use TV panels and we can get latency that's similar to what you'd get in a monitor, right? 10, 15 years ago, that wasn't possible. Monitors were the only way, they were the gateway for you to get a higher refresh rate, for you to get a latency that was you know, under a frame of lag for you to be able to play a game in a competitive space. Now you can play on a 77 inch and you can get onwards to 4K at 120 Hertz and be around 12, 11 milliseconds of latency. It's just remarkable where technology has gone. Without me ranting, PC gaming is something that you can definitely get into. And I've got some content on my channel where I've previewed some uh, pre-builds that I bought for my son, some custom builds that I've done. Basically, I'm putting myself out there. If you got any questions, I'm not the most knowledgeable, but I'm pretty solid at everything that I talk about and show on this channel. I'm in a comfortable space with it. Uh, but we're going to get on to this video right now. All right, so the beauty of PC gaming is going to be configuring things. Now, it's going to be a pain for some people, but trust me, it's not really that big a deal because consoles have put us in a position where we can manage uh, preferences a lot better, too. Uh, we got this thing connected, okay? Uh, we're going to start by right-clicking. We're going to go to NVIDIA Control Panel. This is the first place you want to stop. Uh, all your options are going to be here because I'm using an NVIDIA graphics card. If this was AMD, it would be a little bit different. But we're going to start by going to resolution. Once we go to resolution, we can see that the TV right now is set at 4K natively. And the highest refresh rate we can attain here, achieve here is going to be 60 hertz. The lowest is going to be 23 hertz, okay? What we want to do is we want to scan down a little bit. And we can see right here, PC, it shows a high of uh, 1680 by 1050. This is saying this because the TV is not in game mode. So we need to go to some picture settings and we need to adjust that before we adjust the resolution here. Because if we go here, you can see the highest you still can achieve is going to be only 60 hertz. We're not going to apply that. We're going to do what we need to do first on the TV side of things. All right, so what we're looking for is to get to where we can adjust the specific inputs. Now, if you guys watched my initial impressions on this TV, we posted that video a couple of days prior to you seeing this video or this being available. Um, I showed you the TV has four ports. Two of the four ports 
are going to be 4K at 120. We are utilizing the fourth HDMI right now. We don't have the audio return channel receiver connected. So right here where it says channels and inputs, we wanna to go to external inputs. We wanna go over to HDMI signal format slash VRR. Right here, it'll tell you that all four of the specific ports are going to be set in standard format. We wanna to go to port four because this is again where we have the the, the gaming PC connector right here, okay? First thing we wanna do is we wanna turn VRR on. Once we do that, you can see automatically at the bottom, it tells you, hey, enhanced format, 4K 120. Select this option only if your device supports 4K 120 with a high frame rate, video output, or VRR. Now that we manage that, we should be good to go back to the window settings. And just to clear some things up, I said the TV wasn't in game mode. This year, they've done a great job. This TV absolutely was in game mode. It simply could not detect the resolution we needed because of the setting that we just modified in the prior transition. So this TV does a great job. If you've got a game on it or a PC, it's going to put this thing in game mode. And I love it, right? So we're going to go back to NVIDIA control panel. Let this load up. Again, we're at the TV with 30 hertz. We're gonna go down and now we can see 3840 by 2160. We have this opportunity at 120 hertz or 100 hertz. We're gonna put 120 hertz. We'll hit apply. I'm filming this in 4K at 30 frames per second. That's just the max that my camera can do. I can assure you right now we are butter smooth with what we need to have on. From the same menu, we're also gonna go down to set up G-Sync on the left. We'll connect this. I like to make sure that step one hits apply following changes, enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. I like to hit to enable for window and full screen, right? Tells us the display. Sony always marks their TV Sony 30. That's what it sees it for. And when you go down to option three, where it says display specific settings, we want to toggle on enable settings for selected model, right? Windows does tell you that the select this display is not validated as G-Sync compatible. You can only get that with LG models, the 22s to be specific. So we're going to apply that. Screen blacks out, comes back on. The blackout there is normal, so everything is working. Nice, smooth. Again, only 30 frames per second is all I can bring you with my recording. I apologize, but I'm getting butter smooth frame rates right now. All right, SD content looks pretty good on this thing. Bright highlights tight. This is Breath of the Wild. No high dynamic range at all with this game. Colors looking great. This is on game mode standard. Went in and tweaked a little bit. Kept the live color off. Haven't messed with any of the like uh, contrast or anything like that. <clears throat> this scene is foggy. I picked this game because uh, it's got some nice animations to it. You know, I wanted to see what colors look like, especially in like SDR, right? Bright highlights like that. The light right there. It's the opening sequence of this game. Looks pretty good. Colors for sure popping. Um, they look more muted. And uh, it's, just a, it's just a different look that you might welcome on this TV. Um, and I like it. Coming in out here, we're gonna see some brightness, a lot of vegetation. Obviously it's animated, but we'll switch over to something a little bit more mature on the next transition. Yeah, this looks great though, it's really good. This might invite me to want to go ahead and play this game.
this looks real good. There's a lot of saturation room on the table for it, but performance feels good. Like this thing feels real nice and fluid. And that red is just kind of panning the, the camera around. I'm, looking for screen tears and I haven't seen or felt any yet. The game has a lot of debris and like just content in the air, which uh, I think it makes it really, really good for you to be able to kind of pinpoint if there's like screen tears. that exposure open up just a little bit more on the camera you know, it's just a little bit more runtime Game, this game does kind of like two birds and one stone kind of can get a little hit of anime plus you get like some nice vegetation like uh, colors but yeah this looks good all in SDR all right man I, I decided to load up some old Assassin's Creed Odyssey high dynamic range turned on my camera is not an HDR camera so but man this thing looks this thing looks great man this this looks absolutely awesome Again, we haven't we haven't done anything to picture settings. Everything is just pretty standard. This is all out of the box content. I wanted to make this as real as possible. The TV, you know, puts you in a position to activate the modes for you to be able to play in the least amount of lat latency with the least amount of latency as possible, and uh, you know, just gives you a, a pretty good experience. You know, as far as like just talking about like you know what the TV is able to articulate brightness you can see it man it's it, you know hopefully the camera picks it up good enough but yeah things look great i spent so much time playing this this darn game yeah man but everything looks absolutely great let's just see something yeah cool tv tells you yes hdr hdr 10 the refresh rate is doing. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty accurate readout too. I can see uh I got the uh, frame rate counter on from Nvidia. The TV's pretty spot on, man. So they've uh they've definitely stepped their game up with giving us a real game optimizer. I had to come back to it, man. This thing is crazy. It's crazy. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to conclude this video. I need to go ahead and continue my content at this point. After I wrap this up, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing taken off of this ikea table that it's on clean up my room and and get this thing mounted up where it's supposed to be so i can really start making some real content with this and really start enjoying this thing um hopefully you've been enjoying the last couple of uploads we we've got three this is the third upload now with it with a couple of live um streams in between talking about the television uh continue on with the questions uh, my this is all still initial impression stuff. This is like within 24 hours. We've made the three videos that we have on the channel right now um, My initial impressions of PC gaming on this thing feels great. I welcome the QHD functionality working um, You know that resolution is a missed piece for some Sony's 
in prior years. And I'm glad to see that, you know, it's possible and it works fluid. I would strongly recommend any Sony engineers to implement some type of ultra wide functionality. And there's some other settings that uh, I would like to create some content on and explore. I want to meet, be able to speak intelligently to them before just deep diving into them with the TV though. But the PC side of this thing feels pretty awesome, man. It feels remarkable. Um, once I get this position where it needs to be as far as I need it to be, then I'll go ahead and I'll start messing around with settings, but everything's pretty much just been standard base. Um, I'm enjoying it though. It, like latency feels low, colors look good, brightness details look good, the blacks look deep and, uh, and inky. Um, SDR content looks good from a gaming perspective. I, I played a lot of titles off video. I cut a lot of content out because I didn't want this video to be so long. Um, so a lot of a lot of emulation stuff looks great. Uh, a lot of HP, HDR stuff looks great for for more modern games. Um, so like I said, if you got questions, though, don't hesitate to leave them down in the comment section. If you want to support the channel, you can go ahead and join the membership. Hit the thanks button. Either of those get some engagement going, leave some comments and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. Peace. God bless. And as always say, Max love.